what are co-function identities? So understand co-function identities. What I want to do is I want to create the first quadrant of the unit circle. So when following up co-function identities, the main important thing that I want to do is fill in our points. So we know that this point uh, is 0, 1. We have 1, 0. And then we have three important parts, or three really important angles. Okay. So the first angle is 30 degrees. And hopefully by now you know how to uh, memorize the first quadrant of the unit circle. That is not 45 de 40 degrees. That's 45 degrees. And then therefore, this is going to be 60 degrees. Now, for each one of these angles, we could say that this one is uh, 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. This one, we have square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. And this one, we have square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. All right. So hopefully, you guys remember that the cosine of a function, the cosine for any angle, was equal to the x value of your coordinate. The sine of any angle was equal to the y value. And let's see, I'm not going to really talk about tangent for right now. But what I want to do is I want you guys to look at a couple angles. I want you to look at what is the sine of 30 degrees and what's the cosine of 60 degrees. So go ahead and like take a look at my first quadrant there and see if you can determine what is the y value at sine of 30 degrees and what is the x coordinate at 60 degrees. And what you guys notice is the sine at 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. Then we notice that the cosine of 60 degrees is the x value is also equal to 1 half. So what that means is the sine of 30 degrees is equal to the cosine of 60 degrees. So what that brings into is our cofunction identities. And here's how cofunction identities are written. What we're saying is the sine of any angle is equal to the cosine of 90 minus that angle. And let's take a look, see if that makes sense. So the sine of 30 degrees is equal to the cosine of 90 minus 30, which would be 60. Is sine of 30 equal to cosine of 60? Yes. And that works the other way around as well. Then this also works for our other um, functions. So I could have tangent of theta is equal to the cotangent of 90 minus theta, as well as cotangent of theta is equal to uh, tangent times 90 minus theta. And then we'll put over here, we could also have secant of theta is equal to the tangent of 90, I'm not tangent, the cosecant of 90 minus theta as well as the cosecant of theta is equal to the secant of 90 minus theta. So cofunction identities are very, very powerful and are very helpful for us to be able to you know, work between two different angle or two different angles and their values. So ladies and gentlemen, there's cofunction identities. If you have any questions, please make sure you comment down below. Thanks for watching.